Hey guys, this is Ray with Outdoor Hub. I'm here with my longtime friend and former teammate, Mr. Marcus Latrell. Marcus, thanks for having me, sir. Oh yeah, always a pleasure, bro. You know, I've got a couple questions for you. You know, we're just going to run by them and uh, just kind of make this as fun as we can. Um, 2016 SHOT Show. What does it mean to you and Team Never Quit? I love coming here. I always have, man. We had guys coming here in the teams and stuff like that, and they would talk about it. And the first time I ever came here, it's just, uh, you can't imagine how much stuff is out there in, in, in kind of in our line of work or in this lifestyle that we lead. So I... It's just interesting to walk around and see the dynamic of everybody, how their minds are working and pushing all that new stuff out. Well, with Team Never Quit, I mean, what we're created here with that team environment for civilians to, to build on, I mean, there's no better place to do that than here. Because this is the same kind of values and everything that I hold dear to my heart. And I, I know that they do the same thing here. There's a huge misconception about weapons and, and, and what they're used for, and I, and I get that, man. The country's kind of at, at, at each other's throats because of because of this. The beauty about people out here is they understand that a firearm is deadly. They understand how to work it. They understand what we use it for. And I mean, I, on top of coming out here to hang out and kind of bring people into the fold, the TNQ, man, I, I come out here just like you do to learn. Yeah. I mean, educate myself. Exactly. If you're going to get up and start talking about, especially as uh, you know, we're grown, grown ass men on, on camera, you better know your stuff. And you got, I think it's important that you can get every side, every angle of what, just like we do in the teams, man. We figure out every angle of everything before we even go in. So we're smart enough, so if it goes bad, we can work our way out of it. I mean, that's kind of what you do here, man. You come out and you see everybody, what they're doing, uh, how they're thinking, and just, just kind of learn. Because, I mean, the people out here, I mean, extremely intelligent. And uh, I always enjoy it. Plus, we get to run into each other, man. I mean, you and I are on the road so much, man. The only time we ever get to run into each other is out here and, uh, at SHOT. Exactly. You know, from my perception, what I see and, you know, why I, I always try to find you is, you know, you went through hell and we know what happened back in the day. We'll leave it there. But, you know, you didn't, you, you didn't back down from it. You're out here. You're educating people and you're learning. You know, it's the same concept we learn in the teams. You know, we're out here always trying to to grab things and see what we can do and learn things from there, you know. Um, and that brings my next my next question, you know, talking about always uh, bettering ourselves. Yeah. You guys came out and, you know, you know me, brother, I tell it like it is. Yeah. You came out with uh, Team Never Quit Ammo. I shot it. I like it. What was your, you know, your, your goal or your reasoning for coming out with that ammo? It just seemed what we were building with, uh, with, with T&Q and what we're trying to do, I mean, the, the, that's part of our life. I mean, that's kind of what, what we do and, and uh, how we handle our business sometimes. And then the lifestyles that we leave, especially the, the country boys and the guys who get out, I mean, it's still much, very much a part of us, right? I mean, you, yeah, we hang up our guns, but we hang up our guns for a, a different reason. We're not out there doing what we do. And another thing we're coming out here, and like I was saying earlier, that you and I get a chance to hang out, well, it doesn't matter who I am. I'm your teammate, so you're not gonna sugarcoat anything with me. None of our guys will. I mean, I, I come in here and, and the first thing you tell me is like, hey, you need to square your ass away or I, this, this, that, and the other. I mean, I, I feed off that. If for one second, make, make no mistake, I mean, if people think I got this figured out, I don't. That's why we're still together. I mean, when I ask questions. I, if it ever gets to a point to where I'm the one man calling the shots, we're in trouble, okay? Shouldn't be like that. Yeah. It's not my idea. It's team never quit, it's, it's everybody contributes to this to make it better. And that's the beauty about the round, man, is like, instead of having that head shed or a couple people deciding on whether or not this is what should be going out to the American public, we had the American public doing it for ourselves. You can't, you can't beat that. I mean, you can't vet that any better. So when we get that feedback from everybody, we implement it. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's gonna be, <laughs> we have our unique individuals that say, well, my round only goes you know, 1,200 meters. It needs to go 9,000. Well, Todd, you're probably buying the wrong ammo. We don't do that. You know what I mean? You're going to have those. Oh, I love talking to them, man, because they are some space cadets. But as far as this goes with the ammo, and what we're trying to do is just basically take our mentality and put it into that, uh, into that ammo the way we design it and the way we take care of it, which means at the drop of a hat, it's reliable, and you can count on it. That brings up a good point because you know talking about reli uh, being reliable. Obviously, you know you, you're no stranger to being reliable and getting the job done. Medic, sniper in the teams. I know that for a fact. We've worked together. Yep. What caliber 
does this come into, this ammo come into? I mean, is it, is it focused just on, you know, you being your high caliber right. sniper or right. what do you have? So the way, when I was talking to Casey about designing the round, I was like, hey, look here, here's what I want. If I, if I could have, I don't care if the pistol ammo, I want it match grade. The only thing coming out of here is match grade. And if, the, if one round in the lot is bad, smash it. That kind of thing. And when we started doing the calibers and the weapons, yeah, would it be easier to integrate yourself into one round and put all your focus on that? Absolutely. But the, you know the unique thing about this community is we got all, the, we have a certain type of people in this country that shoot 5.56. I get all the intel I need on that. 338 Lapua. There's guys out there that hammer that all the time. They give us feedback. So we tried to make the round, the most commonly used round, the 22 long rifle for, for Christ. I mean, not really, I don't think you can make match grade 22. It's 22 ammo, right? So we concentrate on, on the stuff that, that's important to law enforcement, military, and, and the hunters, people Amen. who actually use it all the time. Amen, what we have access to eventually, yeah. But I don't want to put so much ammo out there that we lose focus on the product of what we're trying to put out in the beginning. Does that make sense? That, did I get sense. that out? Yeah, I okay. get it. I get it. So as that progresses, then yeah. And I mean, we, I told me like, we need drone ammo. I got a damn drone flying over my house when my wife's at the pool that has got me stirred up, dude. And I'm out there all the time with my shotgun waiting for him to fly over because I'm going to mount that drone on my fireplace. I don't, I don't know if you have a drone kill, but I don't. So, I mean, it's just kind of one of them deals where we just listen. We listen to the American public. We listen to the guys on the team. They're like, hey, this is, what, this is what they're asking for. It can't be one of those situations in my mind, it's my opinion, like prize fighting and boxing these days. Big boxing fan. You are too, I'm sure. You're getting these fighters that won't fight the fight that the, the public wants. They, they fight the fight to get them next up on the, well, man, you're a prize fighter. I want you to fight him. This is what I want to pay to see, all right? I get a mentality in the back of my head. is like, I'm not trying to impress one person so they can come in and swoop in and, and buy us out or anything like that. I'm trying to impress the American public. Maybe impress is the wrong word. I'm just trying to make it to where they can count on us and they should be able to. They've been counting on the teams since our envelopment, right? You keep that mentality in the back of your head. They, I, I'm, I'm still military, so what I'm trying to, what this, what I'm giving to the public, should be just as good as a product that the SEAL teams uh, put out, right? Yeah. And this isn't, I mean, this isn't rocket science. I'm a team guy, dude. You know, damn, you know me. So, <laughs> I mean, there, it is. What, here's what you got, kind of deal. And I, and I've always been that, never the best team guy. I, I just wasn't the worst. I just integrated with everybody else, and. Uh, that's why I'm alive. I hear you. I mean, yeah, that bad time that you referred to earlier, yeah, I, we all went through it. You went through that with me. How many guys we lost? I mean, you're, you're trying, it's just as gold as mine. That hit everybody. Extortion hits everybody. I mean, we're too small. Yeah. When we get hit, man, we can get hit hard. And I, 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 never, I never realized how much I really loved y'all until I got back. The day I got back, everybody hugged me and was like, good job. We're glad to have you back. Go check the watch bill. You know what I mean? I, I, I didn't do anything that you, did, you you can't do. I was just there. Yep. And that's the way it is with all our, all of our guys who've been in them crazy ass. Somebody was asking me the other day, he's like, do SEALs, I mean, do you guys kind of have like guys in the SEAL teams that pe everyone knows about? I'm like, yeah, we do. We do. And the only reason that happens is not because they're a better frogman, it's because of the operation they got in. Yeah. And it went so crazy and they lived through it that it makes its way around because there are no special cases in the SEAL teams. Everyone is. I tell them, I was like, you, if you think you're special because you're a Navy SEAL, you are. If you think you're special while you're one, you're not. Because you are just, you're, you're a badass. And them other guys that we run around with, they're, they're, they're badasses. And I don't, I don't wash my laundry outside the room kind of deal, so we're not going to, you know how it works. I mean, there's team guys and there's team guys, man. And, and bottom line, no matter what, from new guy on up, the respect is there, but I would expect a new guy to put, if I'm fucking up, screwing up, you need to tell me about it. Put you in check. I yeah. hear you. I hear no, you. No, I'll whip his ass. I mean, you know, <laughs> I you should have run that up the chain, Jack. I'm the chief. You didn't come up to me and tell me that. <laughs> kind of deal? That's teams, man. I never forget. I, I still hold my trident as the most important thing to me. And so is that reputation because you know that's all we got. That's it. And the SEAL teams, all you have is your reputation. Well, and just like this ammo, you get a couple of guys talking smack about it, you're going to have a couple guys talking smack about everything. You can't, you can't make everybody happy. You got 10 or 20 guys talking smack, there's probably some validity to it. Just keep that. That's all I. That's all I keep running on, man. Is well, everything I learned running with you guys. Well, I shot it. I, I can't see ten or twenty people uh, getting on it, anything negative right now. 
you know, much love for you and the brotherhood. I got one more question. I'm gonna let you go. No. Um, so, you know, book, movie, Patriot tour, ammo line. What in the hell is next? I mean, I, you know, I know you do a lot for the community that a lot of people don't know about because we talk. I mean, what else can you do? I mean, when does the hole get full? What, what's next, brother? We were talking about this, so I, just not to get into a, a deep philosophical story, when Morgan and I were young, we, we planned out our life to the end. Being in the SEAL team is one of them. Teams through our 20s, as long as we could hang in there, kind of deal. No wives, no kids, just be gunfighters, run with the boys. When you're done with that, man, you, you find something else to do. Yep. I mean, we, we were Navy SEALs, all right? It doesn't define us as men. Like if I, I don't have to, I'm not one of them guys, a SEAL, football players, if that, once it's done, that's all I had, I got to cling on to it. Just like a, a, they teach us in the teams, man, when one thing's done, you roll to another. Well, I'm at a point now, man, excuse me, where I married a beautiful woman. I mean, she's scalding hot, and oh, she, yeah. she loves me unconditionally. That's why I married her, because she loves me like you guys do. She's a ride or die. I mean, she's gonna be there. And I've never been happier in my entire life. I, I, I reached my goal that I had set for myself, and I know that we always have to set goals. You don't set goals, you start to die. But there's also a point to where you, you set those goals and you achieve them, you need to start living them, enjoying it. And that's, that's what I'm doing, I'm enjoying life. Never been as happy ever. And when we, people started asking, kind of with the books and everything like that, all these questions were coming in like, hey, how do you deal with this? How do you do this? Why? I really value your, your, your integrity and how you live your life. So that's how T&Q came about. I just kind of sitting there answering questions. So my new focus is to do what we did in the military for civilians. Yep. To bring them into, because I think we're at a point in time to where, man, you need to, we need to rally up. So T&Q opens the doors to that team environment and I, I will make sure that it stays that way. So I don't care who you are. And I don't want somebody who's, everything's been great. I don't, I mean, you can, more, more than welcome to join, but the people that make the, the base of this, the, the strength comes from the people who've been in the gutter, man. Yeah. I mean, been down there and stayed down there probably. We've all been in bad spots, man. Oh, yeah. The difference between us and everybody else is our inability to stay down. You take that mentality and all the team guys, we're hanging out and everything like that. It's an open thing. So when these other guys come in and be like, hey, this is what happened to me. This is how I got out of it. Now nah, I'm, I'm going up. Well, hit your wagon to us, brother. Because we'll, we'll have you back. Is it as intense as what you and I have? No, it's not. It never will be. Because we don't. But if we put, if we get into these situations, there's a bond that's already formed just because of the bad times. I can look in that guy's eye and be like, God dang, he's been in the gutter. But he's not, he didn't want to stay there. And have that mentality and, and kind of everybody feeds off of each other. If you, the big picture kind of deal. And build something to where, Everyone has a network to talk to. And I know Facebook and they can communicate. I'm talking about you get on there and you know this guy. You've been somewhere with him. And been like, I, I know what this guy is. I, I like him. And uh, we feed off each other and create that team environment in a civilian atmosphere. That's kind of the, it's a dream in my head. That's what I'm doing. And I've built it right now. It's, it's getting big. I mean, it's, it's, it's working, it's moving. But I don't want it to happen overnight. You know damn well it takes forever to, to create one of us, Navy SEAL. It, that's, it's gonna take a while to do this too. You can't just hand a trident to some guy and tell him to get it done. That's not yeah. how it works. The beauty about what we have here is the people that are a part of this have already been through some hard stuff. Yeah. So they got, they got that whole mentality. And if they can be a part of something that when they look in there and be like, hey, this guy went through the same thing I did and this is what he's doing, I know damn good and well I can do something. And I keep referring back to it, it's the same stuff, we, it's how we survive. I hear you. You know what I mean? I, yep. I can't make it any more simple stupid than that. Everybody looks at us and like, Jesus, how do you, and it's because of the, the love we have for each other, man. And we've been in the damn trenches. So when we, when something hits us, when we go and do something, most of the time it's, it, it's just kind of no, no big deal. But we were ready for it. And that's what this is, man. These people are ready. So we come together as a collective and decide to do something, we can get it done because you can get more done as a group than you can as an individual. That's, that's the power behind it, I think. Well, brother, I appreciate your time, taking the time to uh, speak with me today. Uh, guys, Marcus Luttrell, 20-year friend, former teammate, the guy that still owes me a free T-shirt. Take care. Thanks, bro. Bye, man.